Well, hello, it's finally here, the Exalt Inspirational Vocal Competition, and I just want to say best wishes to you. I know you're going to do incredible. I was very impressed uh, when we were working together. The contestants are great this year, but there are a couple things that I want to remind you of um, before you go into that, and when it comes to the stage performance. As you remember, I'm Terry Hudson. I'll be a judge there tomorrow night um, with you, and we're going to have fun, so I want you to come in there and just know and relax that it's a night of worship. Um, it's also, you know, it's about the audience that's gonna be watching virtually and what you're able to do to minister to them. So just take that pressure off of yourself and just realize you're there to be a servant. All eyes aren't gonna be on you, critiquing you like you think. The, the judges are gonna be more impressed with you um, than you think. They're, they're gonna look for things, you know, to help judge the contest, but they're really gonna be there also enjoying what you do. So I just want to, you know, make sure that you're relaxed for that. But let's go back and let's recap a couple of the things that we talked about when it came to uh, stage presence. If you remember, we talked about uh, zoning the audience, which is like the, the stage and the audience. When you're on the stage, the audience is like a triangle in front of you. So remember the triangles and circles? The audience is a triangle in front of you. And the people that left out were where? In the corners. They were also uh, in the very back, and if you remember, they were also outside the triangle. Then we talked about little circles and bigger circles, which were inside those triangles and right outside of it, you were looking in circles. Remember that? So when you're looking in these circles, the people in those circles will think you're looking directly at them. And this even applies to the judges. You know, when you're singing, make eye contact, at least in those general directions. But here's where it can get maybe a little trickier than your normal thing of performing in front of a live audience. And that is, tomorrow we're gonna be virtual. So in a virtual setting, how we're gonna do that is we'll still appear as if we're singing to that audience. I don't want you paying, you know, playing to the camera and paying so much attention to the camera. I want you to realize that the audience watching you at home, they're just watching through whatever lens of the camera. I'm not sure if they're doing maybe a three camera shoot, or they're doing one camera on you the whole time. The fact is, you're still just singing like you were to an audience. You come out there and you're still zoning. You know, you're still looking as if there's an audience there. You're looking at the judges and making eye contact with them. So when you come out to perform, you of course, you know, you grab your mic, either it's gonna be in the stand or it's gonna be in your hand. So as you're doing that, you're looking out and during the first verse and chorus, maybe the first verse, you have the mic in the same hand if you're pulling it out. Remember not to cause a block with the audience. If you uh, have the mic in the right hand, you're singing this way or you're singing this way. If you have it in the left hand, you're singing this way or this way. You don't wanna have the mic in the left hand and be singing this way because you have a blockade to the audience. Same way, thing with the right arm when you're singing left. So when you're singing left, left arm. When you're singing right, right arm. So back to zoning the audience. You're coming out there, your first verse, up into your chorus, you are starting making eye contact with the front. Then you're going towards the back and then pulling it all in with your eyes. And so as you're doing that, don't make them uncomfortable by switching the mic or causing a blockade. Just come out naturally. Have the mic in your hand, sing here at first, and then when you're going back and you start pulling in, that's when you can use the right or the left hand. Just no quick motions. Wait until the end of a verse before you switch hands. Or wait until the end of a chorus before you switch hands. There's no real rules on that. You just need to have some length in it. So all you're doing again with your audience zoned is the first part of your song, you're singing to the front. Then as the verse is starting in, you're looking towards the back and then you're pulling them in during the chorus. So however you want to do that, just look comfortable and make it, like I said, um, a worshipful experience and let God use you in this. One more thing in that, as you're letting God use you, remember eye contact. Because with your eyes, if they're shut the whole time, again, it's like you're saying, hey, I want to show you something. And then you leave them. You say, hey, I have something great to show you. Follow me. So you're doing that with your eyes. You're making the eye contact and you're pulling them in. Then, if you're in the song somewhere, you'll get possibly really worshipful, you know, as the spirit moves and you flow with that. 
it's okay to close your eyes, just don't keep them closed. So open them back up and make sure you're making eye contact and the camera will capture you for at home. Just, you know, feed off the energy of the judges as well, but make this a great night. And after this is over, then, you know, I'll be singing, sending out more tips to you. And, you know, if you win this, I get to work with you and we'll do a lot more, you know, one-on-one -on -one coaching. And um, I wish you the best, like I said, and may God bless you in this. If you have any questions, just email me and I will get back to you today. Thank you very much. Bye.